On August 22nd, the Roman Catholic Church celebrates a memorial in honor of the Queenship of Mary. We celebrated the Virgin Mary arriving in heaven a week ago on the Feast of the Assumption. Today, on the octave of her Assumption, we celebrate her coronation and queenship. August 22nd marks the memorial and queenship of the Blessed Virgin Mary. The queenship can be considered a prolongation of the Feast of the Assumption. Mary is Queen and Our Lady because of Christ and like Christ. Vatican II, sanctioning a tradition going back to the 4th century, reaffirmed authoritatively the doctrine of Mary's regality. When her earthly life was over, she was exalted by the Lord as Queen over all things, that she might be more fully conformed to her Son. With the certainty of faith, we know that Jesus Christ is King in the full literal and absolute sense of the word, for he is true God and man. Mary was the mother of Christ, and Christ is God, and she shared in the work of the Divine Redeemer, in his struggles against enemies, and in the triumph he won over them. The faithful, under the guidance of an unerring Catholic instinct, have always recognized the queenly dignity of the Mother of the King of Kings and Lord of Lords. The Fathers, the Doctors of the Church, Popes down through the centuries, have given authoritative expression to this truth, and the crowning testimony to this common belief is to be found clearly expressed in the wonders of art and in the profound teaching of the liturgy. Pope Pius XII, by his encyclical letter, of October 11, 1954, granted the unanimous desire of the faithful and their pastors and instituted the Feast of the Queenship of Mary to be celebrated throughout the world and commanded that on that day each year the world should renew its consecration to her, thus giving sanction to a devotion that was already paid by the faithful throughout the world to the Sovereign Mother of Heaven and Earth. The purpose of the feast is that all may recognize more clearly and venerate more devoutly the merciful and motherly sovereignty of her who bore God in her womb. On the day of her assumption, Mary, our mother, was solemnly crowned by Christ and received by the whole court of heaven as queen. But Mary's queenship has roots in scripture. At the Annunciation, Gabriel announced that Mary's son would receive the throne of David and rule forever. At the visitation, Elizabeth calls Mary, Mother of my Lord. As in all the mysteries of Mary's life, she is closely associated with Jesus. Her queenship is a share in Jesus' kingship. We can also recall that in the Old Testament, the mother of the king has great influence in court. In the 4th century, St. Ephraim called Mary Lady and Queen. Later, church fathers and doctors continued to use the title. Hymns of the 11th to 13th centuries addressed Mary as Queen. Hail Holy Queen, Hail Queen of Heaven, Queen of Heaven. The Dominican Rosary and the Franciscan Crown as well as numerous invocations in Mary's litany celebrate her queenship. The feast is a logical follow-up to the Assumption. In his 1954 encyclical to the Queen of Heaven, Pope Pius XII points out that Mary deserves the title because she is Mother of God, because she is closely associated as the New Eve with Jesus' redemptive work, because of her preeminent perfection and because of her intercessory power. Placing all our petitions before our Heavenly Queen and Mother, let us pray. O God, who made the mother of your Son to be our mother and our Queen, graciously grant that, sustained by her intercession, we may attain in the heavenly kingdom the glory promised to your children, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God for ever and ever. Amen.